Y hola. Happy Sunday, suckers. <laughs> Happy Super Bowl Sunday. Sunday, guys. It's always Sunday in Philadelphia. That's how it works. And happy, uh, happy Super Bowl to all Super Bowl watchers and enjoyers. Yeah, the Super Bowlers. Let's see. If you happen to find yourself with us today live, we appreciate you three times because you definitely could have been somewhere else. For sure. Even if you stayed at the same place, your, your attention could be elsewhere. So I let you know, I'm cool with that. Me too. Send me that link so I can send it to the peoples. My boy, that ain't no problem in this day and age. It's kaboom, blam. You heard? Yiggity, shiggity. Just like that. And we're off to the races. How are you today? What you been up to? I'm chilling. Uh, went Just went and followed the flow of today and uh went to go check in on a friend of mine Anna grace who runs copper line plants downtown raleigh went to check in her. huh you were selling plants today no 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 i just wanted to say hello it ended up staying to um photograph a candle making class that was there which i think was pretty chill a candle licking class he was licking candles candle making class. what do you be hearing bro i be i just woke up this guy's nuts, yo. I thought you was I thought you said that. My bad. No, no, brother. It's not it's not what I said. My bad, dog. It it's it's quite all right, bro. Hey man, I'm glad you had a good time at your candle licking class. Bro, you gotta relax. <laughs> <laughs> no, bro, you gotta relax, bro. <laughs> this guy's nuts. I'm glad you had a candle making candle licking class. <laughs> Sub out the Super Bowl to smoke a Super Bowl. That part. Welcome to the smoke section. There's a, there's a different kind of bowl on this side. Biggity boo. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, Ricky. Ricky walking around in Chucks right now. <clears throat> Shout out to that question I was asked the other day that you asked the other day uh, about uh, footwear. Yeah. Some footwear. That's I'm going to say he be outside in Chuck Taylor's, man. He's a sicko. He's wild, and that's how you get them toes crunched. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you get them toes crunched. They are not PF flyers, man. They will not turn you into Benny the Jet. Not even a little bit. Those things is different. Um, I think we could, uh, let's see, what's the test? The test to see. Who else? I'm just sending it to everybody if they're trying to get in on the action. Word. I'm going to roll some. Roll some more. Let's talk about weed songs, yo. How do you feel about, um, like, you know, we, we grew up in, in like one of the perfect times we had because I got hired. We got, we got, because I, we got, I got five on it. You know, we got fucking the whole cushion orange juice. We got mm -hmm. cheap. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. what, what's your favorite smoking song? Like, what's your favorite weed flavored song? Oh, damn, bro. Um, damn. I don't know if I have a favorite, man. I think it depends on what type of journey i'm trying to go on that evening what up fellas we got some activity today i see we wasn't the only ones that decided to dub the super bowl or at least sell out the super bowl for now we got four folks in here yo shout out to every last one of y'all that's rolling with us word, word 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 appreciate you in full steam you heard me you could have been anywhere in the world but you're here with us Appreciate you full steam. I'm about to roll a big old joint of some steam and put it up for y'all. 
And if you do have a team, what team are you, are you rooting for? If you care, if you don't care, then we can talk about something else. But we don't hate you for watching, you know, like in the Super Bowl. And, you know. I would say for me, bro, uh, a classic. I mean, a classic from childhood was like because I got high. You know that shit. What's a Super Bowl and when do we smoke it? <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> Uh, my favorite shit was because I got high. At least that's where it started at. That's well. I think I heard I got five on it well before I heard. You know what I mean? I mean even dying, but that's fucking Afro man was just very blatant about it. Yeah. Um, I would say that, and then like uh, Devin the dude. That shit really caught me when I first heard Doobie Ashtray. Devin the dude has slept on, bro. <laughs> he slept on bro nigga he said they had the nerve to take the herb about my doobie ass tray while you do me that way <laughs> nigga what that's <laughs> if i'm gonna harmonize the butt <laughs> nigga, that's bars bro why they do me that way <laughs> nigga you can't come on man I, I see i'm familiar with it because i had roommates that would, would, would snag the clips out the jar you know what i'm saying you know I think I'm more of um, an album esque person when smoking versus one song per se. Like I like listening to, I like listening to Cushion Orange Juice. It's gonna say K O J. Yeah, I like I like uh, Cuddy first album. That's you know, a good one. Um, <laughs> Del the uh, was Del the Funky Homo Sapien. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm familiar with Del. I'm familiar with Del. Yeah, so shit like that, man, be interesting. I don't, I don't know if I could do just one thingy. Nigga, I started listening to Funkadelic one day, like uh George Clinton and them niggas, bro. I was like, whoa. <laughs> I was like, bro, why y'all so funky, nigga? Like, this ain't even for weed smokers, but I'm smoking and grooving, nigga. Like, dum, 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 dum. <laughs> I apologize to y'all now if y'all hear the smoke alarm in the back go off in my crib. They never came to replace it yet hopefully monday they come to change the battery out they were supposed to have done this since january 31st as you can see it is february 12th <laughs> they have yet to go what's another good one uh you've seen teaching chong right yes nigga, I, my fucking like the iconic scene the first scene where this nigga was hitchhiking and they pick him up nigga said uh said said what are we smoking man so we smoking that dog shit. He said, dog shit? He said, yeah, my dog ate my stash. I had to follow him around with a little baggie for a week to get it back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was wild. <laughs> Nigga said, we're smoking dog shit, man. <laughs> What's up, y'all? What's going on? Y'all got any questions, comments, concerns, bitch, moans, and gripes? Feel free. I know it's a it's a tight day today. Some of y'all might really be interested in the Super Bowl, but that's all right. Yeah, man, we gonna fucking talk it up for a little bit and then hit, let y'all go back to y'all merry way. Yes, sir. What time is that shit over? I don't want to waste money on the Uber. Uh it started at six thirty. It'll probably be over by nine. Mm. Yeah, I'm probably not going outside then. Because that Super Bowl halftime event probably gonna be an event you know what i mean it's rihanna in there somebody said yo i need something to do before and after rihanna's concert <laughs> yeah i've heard i've seen a few uh memes today talking about hey make sure you guys check out the super bowl at the rihanna concert <laughs> that shit's funny man that's kind of wicked hey man they know how to market it i wonder how much they're cutting a the check for rihanna to pull up enough definitely oh. enough her yeah, it got. I want to know the number. I what's enough? Yeah, what's enough for her to well, be like? You know, let me put Fenty to the side right fast, real quick, to come out here. And... Is either a high eight or low nine figures? Sheesh. Yeah, she getting she getting ducats. Sheesh. She a billionaire though. Hope already told you on Hope did. <laughs> Told you he made millionaires. Him, Yay, and Re. Bronze, bronze, and rock boy. So four technically. That's what yeah. he said. That's fucking wild. 
me personally, I ain't got no Ciroc money or no rock money. I got, you know, I got rock bottom. <laughs> Niggas is crazy. He's got tombstones. <laughs> it's the rock. Um, nah, man. I um, I don't know. I hope I hope it's an entertaining game. I hope, honestly, low key. I hope those fucking numbers that came out in that meme. Tell me you seen that shit. Yeah, bro. I I need that to happen. If that happened, that's it, bro. Boy, oh boy, man. I would be so excited to see that shit play out like that. Fucking wild, man. Fucking wild. Dude, let that shit hit. Let it, let it hit one time. Niggas would be looking for a whole new sport, bro. That part. I know you seen basketball. You seen basketball? Yep. It's gonna be like that. Hmm. We already got we already got uh what is it like so many trades and and different like uh, uh stadium names like that's exactly what that shit started out like we got a fucking what is it crypto stadium Staples Center they did change like, the name right yeah Staples Center is now changed to like Bitcoin Stadium or something along those lines that's wicked hey man that's where the money at right. With the money reside, with the money reside. Oh man! All right, I got my lighter. So, so the old C three thirty out today. We ain't really make shit. <laughs> today was an interesting day, man. I didn't have an extremely unproductive day. <laughs> I just uh, I focused on what I could do because this is you know it is a Sunday. Um, Sundays I usually prep for the week ahead. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I'm like ninety percent sure I'm going to be harvesting. Uh, I'm going to be harvesting within the next two days. So I went to go buy supplies for that. Uh, I think I'm gonna try and record the whole process. I mean, it's not really a long one at this point but definitely something worth documenting i've been watching these mushrooms grow like overnight for the last few nights like observing the progress from nighttime to daytime to nighttime to day like the the day-to-day -day like growth is is incredible so i don't know i've been pretty much marveled by that all week <laughs> That plus like working on other stuff that I got on the side. Yeah, boy. So, so it's good. It's good. Definitely good. Let's see if we got any other entries. If yeah, if anybody want to hop in the in the uh in the video call, you're more than welcome, man. We can send you the link. You could just pop up. We could chop it up. Yes, please feel free. No pressure, but pressure. Yeah, no um, pressure at all. I'm kidding, guys. Um, I don't know, man. I don't know what to do tonight. I kind of just did chill. Also, want to get out. I feel like I've been uh, I've been on my caveman shit all month. I mean, honestly, the plan is to stay like this for the rest of the month. I know you'd be uh I know you'd be beating down the block trying to get me to go out and shoot, but I think this might be the most chill month I have all year as far as like indoor stuff. Mm -hmm. This was supposed to be snowstorm season, you feel me? Like go out and shoot when it snows and then come back and get the rest of it done. So I'm gonna have to just keep on acting like it's still just like that, yo. Long as, you, long as you get it done, man. Mm hmm I um I wrote out my to-do list. I got like a, a couple of book concepts I want to work out. It's on paper, bro. It's on paper. It's gonna get done. Damn, y'all, y'all just watch. I like that, yo. And the numbers is going up. We got six people today. Oh, that's fine. What up, y'all? Mm -hmm. What up, y'all? Yeah, what's up, family? Y'all got me feeling confident. Y'all really did just wake up, so my brain is booting up. I'm trying to think. You... Chris, do you have any questions? Yes. Why is the world the way the world is in the atmosphere? No, I don't know. 
Yo, this shit flat, bro. You bugging, right? Mm. Bump your noggin, right? Nah, nigga, this shit flat. Yo, why you why you think it's round for it? Because we seen the pictures of a circle. Bro, you gotta relax. Bro, <laughs> <laughs> you gotta relax. <laughs> I know this dude is crazy. Why you, think, why you think maps are flat, bro? <laughs> why you think they created the globe just so that they can give us the idea of the sphere? When you go up and you look at all the photos of stars and shit, how we know they're not photoshopped? Ooh, Up in Smoke or the next movie? Which one is better? Up in Smoke, hands down. Mm -hmm. Unless the next movie, was the next movie the one where they uh where where my man got abducted by aliens at the end? Because I think that if that's the next movie, then I'm gonna have to say Up in Smoke for sure. Up in Smoke for me. Nigga, I, that scene, that that opening scene, is a classic. <laughs> like it's a fucking classic. And they got pulled over by the cops, and my man just like dropped all those fucking tabs of acid. <laughs> Yo, that nigga was bugging. <laughs> he was like, he said, I see people that walk around with too much acid, man. They walk around with their heads all swelled up. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. No. Nah. Up in Smoke is when they did the they I, I believe Up in Smoke is the the one where they took the van and drove to the that concert and then at the concert the van caught on fire and everybody got got smacked because the van was made out of weed. I think mm -hmm. that was that shit is so good, bro. I can't get over that one. That was too good. <laughs> he was like he was like, hey Bendigo. <laughs> Hey, ben <laughs> That's when they came up with the the glaze joke. <laughs> How about when he picks up Charles on the road side? He puts the oranges in his shirt. <laughs> yeah, fucking double bubble. <laughs> hey, double bubble. <laughs> Yo, Cheech and Chong is a fucking classic, man. I was raised to be a pothead. That was definitely one of the first movies I seen before they. To be a pothead. <laughs> you got your um, your historic photo you would like to talk about today? Oh, word, word, word! I definitely do, man. Shit, do you have yours? You, I, I gotta go first. I'll go I first. Do. I do. All right. On today's oh. flashback. So I spent most of the week really um looking at the family and man book mm -hmm. going back through it and it's this one moment right here by willie ronis from france yeah oh shit if y'all familiar with the the backstory of family and man you would know what's up but this photo right here oh shit I love that. little homie throwing the airplane the model airplane it's just like those small little moments in time, man, because that kid probably don't even know that that photo was being made. Yeah. <laughs> you know, don't even know that photo was being made. And then that might have been an intricate part. Who knows who that kid is today? Maybe he became a pilot. Maybe he joined the Air Force. Who knows, right, what that what that took. But he'll be able to look back at that moment in time. And we're not, we not getting that today. I don't see people making those type of airplanes today. They, they got drones today. So mm -hmm. it ain't the same. I want to make sure um, I give you the right name for this photo or for this photographer. Actually, no, you might have to help me out on this one because I cannot remember his name right now. Is it Adjikawas? Yeah, I think that, I think so. Icarus, bro. Yeah, I think that's Adjis. I think that's Adjis photo. Bro, man, this is one of my favorite photos of all time, fam. Like, this shit is so beautiful. Only because I can't, I, like, I really can't figure out the fucking science behind the image, bro. Like, this is so he, damn he good. Talk. He has a talk on YouTube, bro. Well, bro, you told me before, but I don't think I even want to listen to it because I don't want to take away the magic of it, yo. Like, this is such a great photo. I can't guess how far he was. I can't guess how the fuck she got in the air like that. I just I love it. It's like 
it's magic, bro. <laughs> like, 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 it's fucking magic. So good. Fam, if I if I was to to like see that on a negative that I, I shot, I would probably cry like like damn I, I made that. You still young, bro. You got nothing but time. Nothing but time, bro. I got it. I'll use it. That's my uh that's my uh flashback for the week. Our flashback photo, you heard? Yeah. Cause I'm convinced the way we go through these books and look at some of these um older photographers is how the future people the future photo makers are gonna look back at us. I'm I'm really adamant and really like optimistic about it. I understand that like we're gonna we're gonna be we're gonna be studied, bro. We're gonna be studied. We're gonna be studied for sure. Oh man, I am good, bad at this sometimes. <clears throat> My bad, dude. I agree, though. We will be studied. You for your surgical precision, me for my madman-like creative ways. They're going to compare me to Doc Brown and you to Kobe. You always they just see the work from the work and definitely, you know, just get something from it. Build something. Do something. Yeah. My bad, y'all. Shout out to my technical difficulties, but I'll be back. Yeah, man. Man. But this family and man this is a really good, really good thing. I got it, for, and I got this book for six dollars. Six doll hairs, yes, sir. Damn, that's a good buy. Yeah, it's con it was once considered the greatest photographic exhibition of all time. <laughs> Well, we'll just now consider that. Achi Elvano. Hmm. Elvano. Let's see if my Mac will turn back on. My shit's knocked out. Oh, wow. I'm over here trying to charge a thing without plugging in the charger. But if you guys got any, like, then, any questions, comments, <clears throat> Big moments with gripes, holla at your boy. If anybody would like to come up, any one of you creators like to come up um, and talk in the meet in the group, which sounds kind of crazy. Um, you want you said you somebody want to come and talk to the meet? <laughs> <laughs> definitely, will open up the. <laughs> definitely open up the floor for you. So if you want to hop in, you can hop in. Feel free to chop in. Don't feel obligated that you got to be here the whole time. You can jump in, say your piece. You can slide. Yeah, you know, you could you could join the meet, leave the meet, be a part of the meet if you want, you know. I just want this to be a safe space for conversation amongst creators. This is a safe meet space for everybody. Oh, my God. It's called Google Meet. M E E T, not to be confused with with food meat, or like meat meat. You was you 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 a special kind of special, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you special kind of special man. <laughs> Amen. I'm just a man, man. And oh, we back. All right, cool. I'm like, why did you did a switch rule on me again? And it was just you. No, I just had to fix it up, get right, get right with you. I'm gonna try to check in with y'all to see. Uh let me see. I'm gonna give y'all updates, matter of fact, on what's going on right now with the Super Bowl. Well, let's see. Oh, Super Bowl updates. All right, cool. It's tied seven to seven at the okay. end of the first quarter. All right, so so far right now, uh, I think I still got that show. Let me check. Let me check the uh, the stats from that that meme real quick to see how close we are to that shit. <laughs> you said the score is tied seven to seven. Is it in the first quarter? Yep, in the first quarter. Look, right. said, hey, yo, yeah, right. Super pause, right? He's bugging. 
<laughs> All right, so look, look, look. In comparison, they said that that the score would be zero to ten, with the fucking Eagles down by by ten. All right, so we already we already moving in a different direction. Let's see if the shit in the same way. Though. I'm sweet. They sure. might they might you know what I mean shift it up just a little bit. You heard? Yeah, you know you know the script got to look a little different since it leaked. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I was talking to my bro. He was saying like, "Yo, he was like, yo, listen, there's no way that this shit gets leaked by accident. You know, there's got to be a reason by it." He said, "Yo, it'd be mad funny if uh if it was a bunch of bookies that did that shit. You know, to 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 boost up they 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 pays on that that particular type of line out." Uh huh. I was like, "Yeah, somebody did it, bro. Somebody listen. Somebody was smart enough to say, yo, we about to just push the shit in this direction real quick.' That's funny. Yo." That's how Sidebar, if you can get your hands on some more of this, on some Kent Man, bro, this shit is all right. All right. This shit is all right. This shit is all right, bro. I'm not mad at it. Um, I'm actually not a fan of the Pro 400H, bro. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm not, I'm really not. I don't, I, at least the work that I've been shooting with it when I look back and I shot it both in natural lighting and in studio lighting. And for some reason, it looked ashy like they it just looked ashy, bro. I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm a fan. I think I shot this on Pro H, Pro 4H. Uh, let's see. So I bought a pack of Kodak Gold 200 and i'm gonna see what that does i'm worried about it being too saturated on dark skin so if anybody in here shot kodak 200 yeah that's pro 4. yeah it ain't looking like that for me well doc brown over here you know what i'm saying i'm gonna shoot kodak gold 200 i'm gonna see what that does i'm gonna see how that holds true but no promises on that. I'm, a, I'm just like I said. I'm just worried about it being too saturated on dark skin. Yeah, I, I understand. But, but you, you said you haven't gotten the results from K200 yet, right? No, nah, I haven't shot it yet. Okay. At least not in 120. I shot it on 35, but I didn't do portraits on it, so I that's not a good gauge for me. Um, I mean, so my experiences with color, I feel like I'm all, again, this goes back to like, uh, using a camera that doesn't have a light meter, you know, like I'm always like pushing to get everything right. But then when I see it all looks right, I'm like, damn, bro, like what the fuck, bro? I should have just fucked it up a little bit. I should have pushed, like pushed this, the shutter speed a little bit faster, like to make it more dark or slower to, to make it a little more blurry something, man. Like. Mm -hmm. It's just that that fucking inner conditioning, man. Like that 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 computer that's in the shit always gets me a little bit. I can hear that. I can see that. I can see that. Yo, if y'all got a recommended film stock, please feel free to you know chop it up down in the comment box in the chat box and let us know. Um, I'm just trying to see what might be best for for dark skin tones. If I got any recommendations, definitely open to it. Even if you're a digital shooter, I know at some point you've shot film or wanted to shoot film. We would love to talk to you about what, what do you think about film and what's your reservations if you haven't yet and things of that nature. So feel free as always. This is straight conversation. Y'all can jump in at any time. Don't beat them up, Chris. <laughs> no, not beat them up. I just want them to notice a safe space. They can hop up here and do their thing. Say they can. I want to. Uh, Dolo had also blessed me with some film. I think it's ISO 25. I think, if I'm not mistaken, um, 120. Let me let me grab it. Actually, in the meantime, everybody, let's talk about this Google Meet situation. All right? Why would you name it Google Meet? Like, I mean, I get it. Like, come on, come meet us at the meet, <laughs> bro. You gotta relax. <laughs> bro you gotta relax <laughs> i'm sorry come join the don't like triax push the 1600 man either it look hp5 at 1600 easy but 
Triax. Yo, listen, man. Elijah shoot that shit like that, yo. And I've been seeing his work. It looks beautiful, but I don't. I just. I, I'm not fortunate enough to make it look that nice right. for one reason or another. Uh, update: Eagles up seven fourteen in the second quarter. Uh oh. He said, "Anybody jump in yet? Nah, nobody's jumped in the meat yet, bro." You know, you're wild. You're fucking wild, bro. <laughs> Just using it appropriately. I hope so. Uh, it's a, I don't always want to hog the spot. Listen, man, anybody welcome. I don't care. <clears throat> Here we go. This rolly pan. Reagan, oh. what's up? What up, Reagan? Okay. How you doing? Pan 25. I want to hog the spot. Pause. <laughs> you don't want to be all up on the meat. <laughs> you don't want to be all up on the meat. <laughs> you don't want to meet at every meet. Hey, we got two more folks that popped in, man. Yo, shout out to everybody. Damn, three more. Yo, that's fire. Yo, we had nine. Yo, shout out to every one of y'all, man. Y'all must not fuck with sports as much as we do. <laughs> it, it's not that. I don't even think it's that. This is just not like one of those games that everybody died unless you're from Philly or Kansas City right now, honestly. Mm. Yeah, but we got all those girls that want to be under the umbrella, Ella Ellas. Yeah, it's really the Rihanna show. Yeah, it's the Riri show. That's really what it is, and that's cool. Do I don't you think she's releasing a new song or something tonight? Sure, shit ain't a new album. <laughs> I don't know when they think they get the new Rihanna album. They might as well. Hold out. I'm not a fan of Portrait, but Portrait 160 looks good on dark skin. <sighs> yeah, I was trying to avoid Portrait, man. They tacking on that, but. Would you listen in? Would you start bulk loading that, that daylight shit? What daylight shit? Movie movie film, camera film, like movie film. Um, if I could find a way to bulk load for 120, sure, why not? But nigga, ain't no way. Well then <laughs> ain't no bulk loading going on over here with me playing. My boy said meat gazing. That's crazy. What? Who what who said what? <laughs> oh my god what's wrong with y'all <laughs> you still said what i like gold 200 for dark skin same for that 160 i've had bad experience with proof i think i had a bad bad figure me well, maybe I need to underexpose it, Reagan, because i'm not a fan of the pro 400 h I shot it recently that's what some of the color rolls i mean some of the color shots you've seen lately have been from that um, and for some reason, they just come out a little ashy. Maybe it's not the right term. I don't know, but I'm not really, <laughs> not really a fan. Ooh. Let's talk about them Astro Boys. I just saw a photo that I saw. So it was, it was, I was looking up the bulk load and shit for you, like, see if you could bulk load 120. I found this. That's what you found? I saw, hey, man, look, no, I did. Look, hold on, wait. It's on the same article, my nigga. That's crazy. Hey. This is crazy. And then Astro Man came, Astro Boy came up. Astro Boy is one of the photos that somebody took off yeah. of like a bulk loaded uh, 250D. Mm -hmm. If I catch y'all with those boots on, <laughs> I'm firing that ass up. Are you heard? <laughs> no. Nah. Nah. On the fucking boots. No. No, bro. No, no, no grown man over the age. I'm going to say 28 should be, should be in the motherfucking boots. I look like I'm 28 still. I can fucking but you face. ain't. But you <laughs> ain't. You so you know better. Nah, fucking know better. Yo, that's the point. Nah, them shits is wild, ugly. Yo, Astro Boy is a fucking staple, okay? Those are statement pieces. Keep it 
as it is. Leave it where it's at. Leave it animated right there. And no need. No Bro, need. So cool, though. Like, they real life Astro Boy boots. I mean, the only thing they're missing is, like, boosters, nigga. Like, that shit is kind of hard. It's kind of hard. We could just have to be on two sides of the coin then, bro. I'm not fucking with them shits. I mean, I can't afford them, so I, I mean, I fuck with them. I can't afford them. Even if you could afford them, bro? No. <laughs> like, don't do that, bro. Oh. <laughs> just... Just just tight. And to the people that's out there copying them Beyonce tickets, I see y'all, and I'm watching y'all. I watched all y'all little reels. I've seen y'all find ways to make it happen for these Beyonce tickets. So when y'all in my DMs talking about what's your rates, I don't want to hear none of that foo foo magoo stuff y'all be talking about. I'll let you know maybe next time. I gotta think about it. No, yeah, I didn't you think gotta, about Beyonce. You gotta put it. You, you gotta put that in there when you when you drop your fucking price. You can say Beyonce told me to charge you this. What I'm gonna have Beyonce. I will pay the money to have Beyonce say, make sure y'all book Chris Facey Cocoa Butter Shutter. That's <laughs> it. That's all I was going. I could, at that point, it's a blank check. Hey man, they can make some Mega Man boots too, bro. Boy, we get the Astro boy get mopped up by Mega Man. I, I'm, I not gonna I I'm not going to disagree that. or agree, but listen, I don't know about that. Which Mega they, Man? He said which Mega Man? Not not Battle Net, nigga. Not, maybe the first one. The first, the first one, he'd probably be like a solid fight, but that Battle Network nigga, that motherfucker is serious, boy. That mo yeah. Jackson chips in that fam, he gonna pull a sword out. Yeah, yeah. All right, y'all. Next week, also, I'm sorry to take it from photo real quick, but y'all got to deal with us today. Um, next week, Ant Man, Quantum Mania, Kang, the Conqueror, bro. You just want to see some some violence, huh? I want to see a major shift in the MCU story is what I'm waiting for. I respect that. All right, I'm over everybody talking about the blip. I'm past that. We good. We know what happened. We can still touch on that in some areas, but let's see what this next shit is going on. What's been really going on? And I'm telling you, a Marvel movie or show from like a human perspective like regular people perspective like they just watching this shit happen from like the apartment building that should be crazy bro give you five different humans to follow when you just see how their lives take take place around you know different events that uh that are involved with, like you know avengers shit like that mm -hmm. hey, oh, by the way there is a there's a video up here called the death battle um like there's a there's a page called death battle and what they do is they'll pair up, um, they will pair up different cartoon characters, different characters, and see who will win the fight, like based on their their attributes, their stories, and all of that shit. So there was mm -hmm. one for, for Mega Man versus Astro Boy. That's interesting. It's pretty tight. I go front. And mm -hmm. like what they'll do, damn, what they'll do is, uh, okay. First they'll give you first they'll give you all their, their details and attributes. Uh so like for, for this instance, they'll tell you everything about Mega Man, all the powers that he has, then they'll give you everything about Astro Boy and all the powers they have. And then they'll actually animate a fight. Okay. So in this instance, like the fight was uh it was eight bit because both of their starts were like eight bit. So it's pretty mm -hmm. tight. They also have some shit. I think they had one where it was like Ultra Instinct Shaggy versus like Goku or some shit like that. It was pretty hard. What I like about that that page is they uh they one they go like in depth with the information. Sometimes it's a short uh fight, but sometimes it's like a really like long fight. This one was like 15 minutes and Astro Boy won. Sorry, Ant. <laughs> That's a tough choice. And Ant say Kang whooping Ant Man. The reviews have been very pro Kang so far. Yeah, you better believe it. I want to see what his Victor Timely character is going to look like in Loki. I wonder how they're going to dig and put that big ass mustache on him or something to fit that time or what? What black man, you know, in that, during that time was out there selling goods in the 1930s or whatever. Was no black man selling no goods. You talking about Kang, bro? Yeah, they, 
Listen, they saying that he gonna pop up. One of the end credits they saying is it's allegedly oh, allegedly him. Tell me. I don't know if it's true or not. You know, dudes be wrong, but all right, whatever. They saying that he's supposed to be the cousin is gonna be Loki and Owen Wilson in like 1930s or whatever year frame that is, ever that is, and he's gonna see a variant of Kang as Victor Timely doing something. I don't know what the fuck he's doing. And he's he's gonna be all like shook, but on Wilson ain't gonna know what he's so shook about. So I'm interested in seeing if that's that's really real. I'm really interested in seeing how this play out. I don't think oh, we yo, have... so I can see that, yo. I can see that. I can see that. Where it's like they think they defeat him, and then next thing you know, bah, bah, another well, one. I guess they just doing that to feed into what Loki coming out next year or whatever year, to, you know, help build that. But that shit. Nice. I, don't, I don't think. Um, I don't think the Marvels is next. No, actually, um, Guardians of the Galaxy is next, and then it's fucking um, the Miss the Marvels. But they don't got TV shows coming out soon. The Marvels. The That's next a show. One. Yeah, it's the next one up. That's a show. Yeah. I thought it was a movie. No, it's not what I. That's not last I heard. So they they brought the Marvels into a a show form. Yeah, yeah, I think it's gonna be a show, bro. I don't know. Wow. We'll see how they change. You know, they change things last minute, however they want. Wow. I really want to see what's up with Secret Invasion. That shit got my heart right now, man. That thing brought me back to a time when everything looked good. You know, when it wasn't color grading everything the same way. I'm into it. Give me this espionage shit. I'm ready. I'm going to see what they do. Give me some MCU horror for real, man. Let the dudes that did the conjuring do the next uh scary movie. And that and, and that quantum mania, I don't think either one of them gonna die either. I don't think Ant Man gonna die, and I don't think Kane gonna die. I hope Ant Man gets smacked, man, like like paralyze him or some shit like that. Well, I mean he probably gonna get washed for sure, but um I don't think they kill him off, bro. Mm -hmm. I don't think they kill him off. Even if he don't want to do the movie no more, I don't see them killing him off. <laughs> I think that's Paul Rudd, nicest check right now. You know, Paul Rudd been acting for like all of our lives, yo. Yeah, I'm aware. Like, fam been fam been famous since we was babies. Yeah, but also, he might be tired. A lot of people say, people, and you can check the interviews. People, yeah. people say that's in the Marvel movies. That shit is a lot of work. Them niggas be tired, and all the reshoots they got to come in and do over and over when somebody cracked the code. Yeah, yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you crack the code, yeah. You crack the code, be snitching on what's the plot line. They got to go in the go in there and switch it up. But I'm I'm interested in this because it's definitely gonna change the way we look at the Marvel Cinematic Universe moving forward. Um, because now we got a new villain, new big bad, official big bad. We get to see what's going on. Um, and because of who he is, how we can branch off to some of the other you know what I mean? The other villains that is is known for utter chaos and destruction and you think this movie will, will you think this movie will finally answer those will start to answer those questions about the bands and shit like how people were theorizing because honestly i don't think the bands got shit to do with those folks i don't circles. think they're gonna touch on they might touch on it a little bit but i don't think they're gonna reveal what's up until like the marvels i promise you i feel like they gassing up the fucking the 10 rings to actually have some shit to do with kang like like really have something to do with kang mm-hmm but I don't think it's gonna be to the to the degree that they making it out to be like them. Them symbols ain't the fucking same, my nigga. <clears throat> I think so I don't think so. I don't know what they. I'm I'm curious though. MCU has been setting up all these young Avengers so they can retire poor Rudd. And I'm I, I'm in, I'm inclined to agree with you. I don't think we're gonna get the young Avengers though for a few more years. I agree with that. That's like some mid, that's some mid shit, like some mid twenty uh two thousand twenty five shit. Mm -hmm. But I probably, think I'm going that way though for sure. Oh no, they'll probably do that like after after Kang, because they're like, yo, so we're the Avengers now, you know, we just got these young niggas. <laughs> like you can't have the young Avengers without Iron Lad, and he is who he is from the you know whatever. So like. It can fit somewhere around King Dynasty esque time if that's what they choose to throw in there around there, but I don't, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. 
So now I'm not one of the room people. People in the room. If they let me in the room, y'all would never know what was going on. Y'all would never be able to figure it out. Because I'd have been in there, yo, this is what we're going to do. We're going to switch this with this. We're going to move this around over here with that. I'm going to tell you, if you do this, they're going to think this. So we're going to do this, but make it look like it was that because it's really going to be this. And then when we do this, this is going to be so hard. It's going to be a kick flip back to the time when Fred and Such did this and Iron Man 2. They're going to be like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what <is this? laughs> you said, I'm just going with it. I'm going to figure that shit out before everybody. If they're following the King story, his variant Iron Lad is going to be the key to stop them. <clears throat> yeah. I was watching a theory saying that Riri could possibly be a uh, fucking Iron Lad. We good. We good. Riri or a uh, little kid that keep popping up from Iron Man 3. <laughs> no, no more lines, just a grown up. I think they should do a special presentation of that version of Kang's history where he goes he goes into the back in time, I guess, for himself to go get Nathaniel and show him and do that recent arc in the comic. Yeah, that yeah, was, I, mean, I, I read that one. They should do a special presentation of that. I think that would be pretty far fire. Um, they called him Kang or whatever and go through that to see. That would be kind of fire. I would be interested in seeing that. I feel like Ravona gonna have a big play in how how they defeat her uh, defeat him. She got to either yeah. she's gonna get killed to become a major motivation for him to do whatever he does next in them other Kang movies or something. I don't know what the other R is, but that because in every timeline she gets smoked, mm -hmm. and then in one timeline she don't get smoked there forever at war. Like, yeah. <laughs> so it's like, all right, what you gonna do? They said I did this for you. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't ask for this. <laughs> so you chose wrong. <laughs> All right. You guys see the Flashpoint trailer? Super low expectations for that, but it looked all right. Less trash than I expected. Yo, what's good? I haven't seen. Oh, shit. What up, Kels? What up, fam? I haven't seen the trailer for that, but um, I only seen bits. I, yeah, I've, I've seen shit from like months ago. I haven't seen anything re recent. I know they they decided to keep this nigga Ezra Miller after he started tripping and flipping on people, which is wild. It's, yeah, that's a whole nother convo. Henry Cavill definitely put a chair through a window after fucking seeing that news drop, bro. Bro, what? What? He Marvel probably trying to get him over there to do something. You, I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised. I feel like Marvel should be aiming at uh, no names now. Yes, but they also know where to get a quick money grab from. That Eternals movie was a money grab so that they could fund some of this other stuff. I mean, they needed to. There was nothing else really like out at the moment. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. I only seen bits and pieces of it today. I'm people talking about it and little shit. Um, but I didn't, I didn't watch the full, the full trailer yet. I don't know, man. We're going to see how it all come together. It should be pretty interesting. I'm glad they're resetting all of that, everything. I'm glad they're resetting it. They're going to get Galactus in there one of these days, bro. Yo, Marvel. Yo, Marvel got days. They got to do it. They got to do it, bro. They got to do it. I don't care. Whatever they do, do what you like. First off, I need Hulk to have a real movie. And yo, I was gonna, I, you were literally about to say something I was about to touch on. Yo, I hate the fact that they have so many contractual uh stipulations against so many of their like prime characters that kind of sucks you know like it was like you kind of could play with them niggas but you can't play with them you know like you got action figures that you just got got to keep in the in the the case until <laughs> they're not yours so you got to be yeah. careful what you do with them so you don't break them and gotta pay for them yo bro. yeah he definitely is doing a, a role his role map did look pretty good but they need to grab some of these nobodies off of netflix i mean yeah just don't get nobody from Tubi. <laughs> and we're just talking about a Tubi show here. Yeah. <laughs> getting them from Tubi. Uh, yep. And the Last of Us is a really is a really good show. This shit is. We got them right. on board. I was never off board. I just didn't want to watch week to week. Got them week to week, guys. I even told you before it came out that I was really excited for that for that show to come. No, man, but we got you. We got you on the week to week train, man. That's fire, man. At least you you on board now. 
Hey, yo, he called, yo, this motherfucker called me the other day. He said, man, that last episode. I was like, oh, you saw the shit that just came out? He said, yeah. Oh, we got him, guys. We got him. <laughs> I was already excited for it. But I just trying to hold out so I could, I could binge watch it. But I really like what they're doing. I love that anybody could get it. I love that about shows. If a show could do that, anybody could get it. That's why I'm a big fan of season one of Game of Thrones. That's the only season that I really love the most. Damn, bro. Yo, you ain't fuck with the Red Wedding? Nah, it's cool. Once you're involved in the story, you're involved in the story. It's cool. But I like mm-hmm. when I like when p- people in these shows show you that anybody could get it. Yeah. you t- uh, Kelson, if you're talking about Last of Us, hell yeah. yeah that shit is watch, yeah, bro. bro. Hell yeah. I'm glad they honestly I'm glad they pulled the play and made that uh, had it come out on Friday rather than like doing the 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 tidbits with it today. Like man, yo game. If you enjoyed the game, bro, you're gonna love the you're gonna love the show. You're gonna be like, yeah, they and you don't go into it being like, damn, they changed everything about they didn't do all that. They just made shit that made sense for the show. Yeah, because I played The Last of Us 2, part one, part two. I don't even really do zombie games. I only I prefer zombie movies, but mm. I play that shit and that shit is so hard, bro. That shit is so hard. That shit is so hard. And this show is they they doing things right. I like how they paying um paying attention to detail when it comes to some of these different zombies. Like that. I like that they change a certain shit to up the emotional factor. In the end, like they the changes that they made are upgrades rather than changes. Yeah, they did that, they did right. It's fire, it's fire. And yeah. I'm very surprised with Pedro Pascal's performance. Are you serious? With as this nigga, I'm very surprised, bro. I'm very Are you surprised. Serious? Yes, he's nice, man. I'm very surprised with his with his acting in this. He's smooth, he got that shit off, man. I'm very surprised because I was I was so used to watch the last thing I seen him in was um fucking and it's very yeah. it's very oh, da, 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 da. I got it I get it um <laughs> the movie, even in the equalizer it's like his scenes in the equalizer is like it's still very monotone as this is like he's he he's, he's monotone in this but like you can see the different array of emotions, the small little subtle shit, him looking at the watch every time he's reminded of his daughter, the way his eyes are, of course. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking with shit. I'm seeing. Yeah. I'm like, he, he's tapped in. <laughs> he's good. tapped in. That's acting right there. That's he's prime tapped. acting. Yeah, he's, he's good. He's got that shit. And then the little girl, the girl that's playing Ellie, she's cool. I remember her from Game of Thrones, but mm-hmm. um, she's chill. I already knew she could act. I wasn't really too worried. I thought her cursing so much was gonna like piss me off, but it doesn't bother me. It fits. Hey man, no spoilers, man. No spoilers. We got both not nah, for sure. They, they seen it by now, they bugging. <laughs> Bro, that shit was hard, man. I'm not gonna front. It was hard, yeah. yeah. For one, he's a crack shot for a nigga that don't like guns or at or like fucking violence, bro. Like he said, bah. <laughs> Could have shot anybody. <laughs> like, what the fuck? And then you know, having to take his own, bro. That was that was sick. That was sick. It's hard. That shit. Um, I watched. I had watched um the breakdown video with Eric Voss over at New Rock Stars, and he was emotional talking about it in the video. I've never seen him like that. And then in the video, he was emotional talking about it. I was like, yo, this nigga hurt too. <laughs> He's hurt. That was a moving moment. You know, that's why I said that part about, you know, taking the way of him from speaking and made him be like deaf or whatever sign language that up the ante. Yeah. Hell yeah. That up the ante. That was a good upgrade. But that shit is that shit was I looked at that episode. I realized what they was going about in that episode, too. It was, you know, it's about innocence. It's Mm -hmm. about it's a yo it's making the right decisions. Are you doing questioning your movement? It's it's a lot going on in that in that episode, bro. Have you have you watched? Has anyone watched um you or anyone else in the in the, the chat? Uh have you seen Chernobyl? Mm-hmm. That shit is well shot, bro. Oh man, like I, I honestly after the first episode of this, I was like, I gotta see what else this director did, man. 
And um, I, I took a deep dive into Chernobyl. I watched like the post, you know, shits after mm -hmm. every episode. Um, wow, really yeah. good, really yeah. fucking amazing. Yeah. So I was like, nah, they about to smoke this last of us shit. They're doing a really good job. And I like that also they made people think that the, um, they showed you that the, you know, the, the little bloater joint was coming. Mm -hmm. um, but a lot of people thought that was like, oh, that was going to be like for the finale or something. No, here we are mid season, bro. You can get this. <laughs> no, nah, you can get this. And I like that. I like when shit could get real. Yeah. I love that. I love that. I love that. That's how you keep me involved. Make that shit realistic. Looking at shit like, yo, what the fuck would I do in this situation type of energy? I'm, I'm, with actually, it. I'm actually straight up neglected that shit. She said, nah, let's just find this nigga first. Let's just smoke this little black kid for, for what for, for his egregious crimes against the people. Yeah, that was that was one of those. That was one of those um another lesson that they was going about, you know, being so blinded by revenge and being so so zone focused like this on shit. You not even really focused, yo. Good shit. Good shit. Good shit. They talk and then and the innocence and the innocence being taken away was even further pushed. Yo uh, with the little gymnast um joint or when it oh, yeah. Yo. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yo, low key, I want to show Cameron that scene and say, "Yo, you trying to get a job like this?" Because Cameron is wild flexible, yo. I'm just like Cameron. This is what we. This is what I mean when I say like, if you keep practicing like your flexibility, you could probably go far. Because sure. boy, that kid is nuts. <laughs> but I, you know me, I like all that post-apocalyptic shit. Mm -hmm. I like I like movies and shows like that because I, I, if y'all don't know. Black people watch movies like that for survival tactics. We ain't watching to be entertained. I'm just gonna be honest with you. <laughs> I'm watching to see what I would do in that situation. Yep. Um, I'm curious. What would y'all do in a post-apocalyptic situation? You know, talk up right here in these chat. What's up? I'm curious now. I need to know what y'all what y'all about to do. Y'all leaving? What's y'all plan? What's y'all plan? And you, and you could be a little vague about your plan because you know they be, <laughs> <laughs> they be watching. I'm sorry, yo, Anthony. <laughs> you might not want to answer this one. <laughs> you can text it to us or save it for the post. <laughs> but I'm telling you, watch Revolution, bro. I don't know if you've seen it yet. I don't know if you remember. Keep it up. I'm telling you, bro. All you need is the first season, the first season of Revolution to do it for you. I like, and it's crazy that the underlying theme in a lot of these post apocalyptic. Uh, movies and or shows is that it's always the people that's like worse than whatever else is going on. And that's, I find that very interesting. Like, Cause they tell them the truth. That's, I find it very interesting. Cause it's like, yo, you can't omit that. You can't omit that. It's going to be people being savage. It's going to be people that's horny raping, trying to take advantage. And then you're mm -hmm. going to have people that's very like, yo, it's interesting, bro. It's very interesting. I like the, you know, I like social experiments. So like looking at this shit is interesting. Like, yo, what the fuck? Like, yo, listen, get you a, a machete, a retractable bow and arrow set and two guns be straight. But I think that also depends on what type of shit we're dealing with in the post-apocalyptic world. What if it, what if it's one of the post-apocalyptic world where it's just not no zombies? It's just the world is gone. It ain't no electricity. It ain't none of this other shit. No technology yeah. work. Same shit. Get you a machete. Get you a fucking retractable bow and arrow set. Get you two guns. You be straight. Find you a fucking horse and you unstoppable, nigga. <laughs> like that ass. <laughs> Pack all that shit in a backpack and call it. I, I told you what I would do earlier. Like I, when, when they start evacuating, everybody's going to evacuate. I'm going to wait before I evacuate. I'm going to let them all congest the roads. I'm going to Walmart, buddy. This girl's too bad. I'm going I'm to go to Walmart and get all the rounds I could get. If we got World War Z zombies, I'm doomed, y'all. It's over for me. Don't even I think know. I survived. Don't look sick. Oh, you got to eat some dirt, nigga. Just get sick. You be all right. You had to get. You had to be sick. Sick. Right, you had to be. You had to have a life-threatening disease. Sick. That's how that works. I'm not ready for that. Even in the last days. All right. All right. All right. Now, I got an option for you. You might not like it. What? 
sleep with a crackhead. Bro. With the World War Z zombies, all right? I said I'm not going to make it, bro. They're going to just have to get me because whatever you about to suggest, I'm not doing it. I mean, bro, like crackheads make it do everything. Yeah, but I'm not doing that. All right, fuck it. I told you, you might not like it. Yeah, and I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I'm not getting down like that. I'm dead ass. Just I was saying, oh, when that yeah. movie came out, Woo! I did say I would inject myself with like AIDS or something. Like, fuck it. <laughs> I'm telling what? All right, man. All right. All right. I did say that. But thinking back <laughs> now, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I mean, listen, bro. We either gonna get World War Z zombies are actually. It seemed like the 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 lowest fo- like part on the totem pole, like like the least likely that's gonna happen. Like th- that was a one time occurrence in movie history. You know, what I'm saying we usually got the, the ah, I can't think zombies. You know, what I'm saying if we got the Walking Dead. I'm a survive. I'm a super survivor. Yeah. Super, I promise y'all, y'all, we could we could make a team. We could get we can make this happen, y'all, for real, for real. Um. What? The Last of Us ones, I think I'd survive. I think I'd survive because these are not, they're relatively like predictable in the sense of like where they got to be at to grow. Mm-hmm. And if you know anything about botany enough, a little bit, you'll be like, you'll see that they like the state of these cool places. And they yeah, and they, they I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be too, too worried about one of them sneaking up on me. Like that, I'll still be aware. It's people for sure. If I keep an eye out for people, I could be easily see one of them shits coming. So yeah. <laughs> that's how I look at it. Um, if we get, those, huh? What about um, uh, twenty eight days later? Like, oh. like the 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 tip stereotypical zombie, the one that ain't got no fucking brain. They just hungry. It's, I could I, I could survive. If it's all about that speed factor for me, some of them was moving a little wild. Some of them was moving. The World War Z ones was them niggas. Bro. He said the last of us ones dry out. <laughs> they probably do. Yeah, I'm going to the desert, fam. I'll be all right out there. True. Yeah, the desert is an interesting place. I also thought about being, getting on water, getting on a mm-hmm. boat. I told you about that one. Getting to a different okay. island. Cousin said, Cousin said get on a boat. But listen, man, I seen the movie, man. Niggas got on boats and they ain't last too long. And all it takes is for you to go come across another boat that got zombies on it. And that's a wrap. Them niggas could jump. They're not gonna jump next to my boat. I'm out. I'm I'm not even getting close to no other boat. You shit me. Then the ones they come up from under the water too, bro. Them things don't they don't need to breathe. Now we gotta talk. What kind of boat we actually? Yeah, with. now that we thinking about this, yo. Hold on, wait, wait. Can zombies breathe underwater? Like, like I don't know, but they not we're gonna have to find out the hard way. <laughs> <laughs> they not gonna get on my boat. I'm telling you right now, bro. That's the downside to having a boat. You got to dock eventually. Like, you can't just, like, stay out in the fucking open water. Yeah, but it's the end of the days. We're going to find other boats and shit. It's, you got to take the chance. You just got to take a chance. But you got What you going to do? Siphon gasoline from every uh, tank that you see on the way? Bro, whatever got to go down, got to go down. I know you can't do it by yourself, though. You need a team. I just need everybody to be a part of a team because I will leave you. What <laughs> <laughs> I will leave niggas, bro. I'm gonna be real with you. I will leave niggas. You try some shit. I seen every zombie movie that I needed to see to study. I don't trust none of y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, here's some keys jingling in the back. Where the keys coming from? Who keys? Bro, who are you? Why you got keys? What are you scheming on? Are you bro, go up, throw, him man? throw him over, boy. He gotta go. Savage life. <laughs> you guys ever seen the zombie in the Nazi zombie movie Shockwave? Nah, but that sounds like some shit from your time that we gotta check out. Definitely didn't see it, but if that is some shit, that is some shit. <laughs> <laughs> Nazi zombies, nigga. What? He said, "Nah, um, I'm knocked up for the resources." I hear you. I hear. I think that's. I think going to either getting the high ground is always good, but numbers mm-hmm. can get rid of you on that. But I think the ocean is a good place to go, and I also think the the desert is a good place to go. Um, if you got the tools you need for both or going somewhere cold if you could stand it that works too i think damn fam imagine this zombie in the fucking ice bro that should be like frozen from the waist down but still be like ah. 
It's my boy. That's gonna be talking practice for sure. <laughs> oh, practicing my crossbow on that one. <laughs> see, you see what I'm saying? You gotta have a bow and arrow set, some type of bow and arrow set. Yeah, because bullets run out. You don't know when you're gonna run back into that. You need you need something else. You feel me? Uh, yeah. Listen, you just gotta get good at making arrows, bro. And then in the walk dead one, they was if you rub the guts and shit on you, you could walk right past them like it don't even exist. What boy? I'm surviving. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm gonna put on zombie guts. That's the that's that new ED perfume toilet boy and put that <laughs> call it gut gear, nigga. Like <laughs> yeah, boy, gutties. <laughs> that's funny as shit, yo. That's super fucking funny. I think <clears throat> supplies and i think but it's i think what's most important about it is that as much as people are problems in these times you still need them <laughs> you because you're not going to survive by yourself you're not going to make it yeah but you just got to be with the right ones bro i'm telling yeah, you man. how do you decide that at the end of the world you said how do you decide that yeah how do you decide that at the end of the world because people change this shit has changed people rules don't apply certain social norms don't apply Damn, racism is still gonna be a thing. <laughs> yes, and don't think I ain't think about that. <laughs> the first thing they're gonna try to bring back. <laughs> no, 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 we ain't saving you niggers. Yeah, well, when you wild boy, you gonna need us. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna need us. Cause don't let us find a way to don't find out. We find out how to train a zombie like we train a pit bull. Your ass in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> that's mad funny yo the right that's team funny. always wins for sure somebody you just can't have no selfish people everybody gotta pull their shit listen man I'm know your shit. qualities if you're a doctor and you good at being a doctor all right maybe we won't just have you out there getting all crazy on the front lines but you gotta do something you're sleeping back to back to back to back at this motherfucking team oh yeah man. bro oh yeah <laughs> Listen, yo, <laughs> we gonna get right. We gonna be called the blacks. Fuck it, straight like that. <laughs> hey, all right, what up? <laughs> it's zombies and it's the blacks and it's the everybody else, bro. <laughs> when we get together, it's gonna be a problem. Yo, I think that'll be tight, man. It'd be like I don't oh, know dude was doing just fun in that city. Yeah, but then what happened? He would have been a grumpy old troll. He probably would have offed himself eventually. That dude found love. <laughs> and man, he needed another person. Then he made friends with them. He needed you, you're gonna need that. Or you're gonna go mad. You're gonna go mad. You're gonna run out of stuff. But see, when you said he was by himself, he wasn't by himself. He had tests. Well, for one, and then before he was test, he had tests and he had his brother. So he, he had people. He well, he just talking about, talk about Bill and Frank. Oh. Bill was straight. Yeah, but he would have lost himself, bro, being in like that. What was that? Frank, talking about Frank, right? Frank was straight. Frank was chilling. I think he was good, bro. I don't think he would have lost himself. I think he'd have been cool. He'd have just he'd have ran out. He eventually, he eventually would have had to have gone out to get something else. His old age. Remember, a lot of when he got attacked that night, it was it's a lot, bro. It'd have been a lot. True. It'd have been a lot by himself to handle a lot. He was doing fine. Yeah, no argument for me. But eventually, he would have got it. He'd have succumbed to something. Yo, Anthony, a cold piece, man. He said the doctor might have to be in the battlefield, too. <laughs> yeah, I heard you, but well, we're going to need him because we're going to have a lot of people that ain't fighters, bro. We're going to need somebody to stitch their ass up. <laughs> we got to make sure we protect that. Yo, the Eagles are up. Sorry, uh, football update. The Eagles are up by seven. It's 21 to 14 right now. I said found love in that hole in the ground. Bro, that's the end of the day. You're going to find love in a lot of weird holes, I assume. <laughs> All right, man, listen. You a fool. That's how it is, man. But you said, yo, you said I see the other guy fire not one round to cover him. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Yeah, he sure didn't. 
He ain't need to do it, man. Frank had that shit. Yo, Frank pl planned the whole shit. Frank, he was like, I know. The other dude, dude, dude did get him clapped because he turned. He didn't get shot. So he turned around to talk to old boy. Like, yo, what are you doing? Go back and slide. Yo, he said you're gonna have to send me in the zombie apocalypse because I got marketing skills. Oh my god. Yeah, we need. I think we need to save people like the, like the doctor and all of them. They could get it popping for sure, like, but they got to get it popping from back there. Like, yeah, they can't be because they're gonna be in the way if they're not really about it. So I don't got time for people that's not really about it to get on the lines. That's funny. Too. We still gotta understand people still gonna be soft. They're still soft people. So, um, I'm what I'm worried about in those times mostly too is the kids, like. You you got to yeah. shut up or shut up at this point. Now as a kid, I don't got we don't got time, <laughs> and that's real, bro. And it's gonna break my heart. But it's a different world. We ain't got time for like the sentiments, bro. <laughs> he said, "Yo, you five, pick up that fucking two piece right there, yo. Yeah, you, you take the noisy cricket and keep myself clear. Like you really gotta clap something, young one. <laughs> like you really gotta be ready, like." A five years old fam got to be ready with the whole stance and everything. Hold it right. All right. Hold it. I showed you at four. I showed you at four. And at the end of the days, there's no more rules, bro. It's just going to be surviving. And whew, I think I'd make it for a little while, bro. I think I'd make it for a little while, but I know I would have to make a team of some people and people going to be fiending. Bro, listen, just fortify a mountain. You say go to fire mountain? No, fortify a mountain. Oh, fortify a mountain. That's interesting. Oh yeah. Very interesting. Mountain. But one, you know, zombies ain't already out there like that, man. It's like people only go to the fucking mountains. It's not like you about to be followed and shit. So and why does oh, zombies yeah. never eat the animals? Mm. Some do. Yeah, but not majority of these zombie movies, they've eaten people. All the animals they want to eat people. They revert to the ways. A zombie bear. Cocaine bear coming soon. I'm trying to go see that. Go ahead. Yeah, I was about to say, what about cocaine bear? I'm going to go see that. I want. I got to see how they're going to do this. I'm not going to go spend my money to see it, though. But I'm dying to see how they do this. <laughs> Yo, Loki, I was, I was looking at the what's name, too. I know we passed the topic, but... I was looking at the uh the movie times for for what's the name quantum mania that shit come out on thursday yeah yeah i'm gonna have to hit the movie theater man about three o'clock get the matinee in the hood going why not yeah fuck them kids go see that shit. go see that shit it'll be great bro <laughs> it'll be great bro I, like i said i don't think they're gonna i don't think they're gonna kill any one of them i think I, I feel like Scott might get stuck in the quantum realm again. I think that might be what happened, but I don't think he's gonna be dead or something. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it yet. I, don't, I, I haven't I haven't pieced it together yet, and that's cool. I think so they ate the horse on the Walking Dead. They sure as hell did ate the horse. They sure as hell did that. That one scene from the Walking Dead still played my, in my mind. That part where um, what's the what's homie name? The main dude. I can't remember his name right now. He on the horse chasing that underneath the helicopter. He's like yo. Screaming, screaming. He hit that corner and it was nothing but zombies. And they all turned around and peeped him. I said, Oh nah. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I said, Oh nah. That's funny. I'm getting out of here, bro. They wasn't gonna get me. They, gonna be, they not getting me, bro. Zombies. <laughs> World War Z, yeah. But all the other ones, they not getting me. Listen, man. I think. I think it's gonna be an interesting time if that ever does happen. We're gonna see some true colors on some some true pe peoples and some true things. Yeah, but nigga, best believe if you want to survive, while we still have cell phone lines, call me. <laughs> Last check in with y'all, man. Uh, with the Super Bowl, Kansas Chiefs, Kansas City Chiefs, fourteen, Philadelphia Eagles, 21, 28 seconds in the second quarter. Uh, right. looking like they're going head to head. That's interesting. Um, also, we're getting ready to end it, y'all. We're gonna go back to self care Sunday. 
We're going to do a little post video on Google Meet. Ugh, now nah, I can't even say it. On Google Meet, if anybody trying to hop in, you're more than welcome. Um, just send your email. We send you an invite. We'll be on there for maybe another 15, 20 minutes chopping it up if you want. Yeah, let us know if you're trying to hop in the meet. Join the stew, you heard me? You're going to have to call it the stew, yo, Google stew. There's a whole bunch of meats in the stew. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> He's stressed out. All right, y'all. Um, Listen, if you anybody want that, that link, let us know right now. Give you another moment. We're going to close it out at 8.15. Mm -hmm. uh, do the post. So if you want to join the post talk, just hit us up on IG with your email. We'll add you right up right after this if y'all trying to do it. So thank y'all for I fuck with y'all for fucking with us. Word. You could have been anywhere. Super Bowl Sunday, man. Thanks for coming and kicking it with us. Uh don't forget to like, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell their mama about us. And enjoy your Sunday. And go outside. What's you saying? Until next time, folks.